All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you today about grassy weeds because any of you who are interested in weed control know that grassy weeds are the most difficult category of weeds to get rid of because you have grass as your turf grass type, which your lawn is made out of. And so you can get sedges out of lawns, you can get broadleaf weeds out of lawns, but getting grasses out of grass is not so easy. So let's talk about grass identification. Uh, this picture right here, if you kind of see the lime green sprouts everywhere, that's crabgrass. You know, this whole lawn is Bermuda grass. There's some nut sedge in there that I'll talk to you about in a minute, but um, this is what crabgrass looks like. Everybody talks about crabgrass, 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 but not a whole lot of people actually know what it is. So crabgrass likes to crab along the ground, spread out horizontally. If you notice, there's not a whole lot of vertical growth here to this crabgrass but there's I mean it's everywhere all these little plants are individual crabgrass plants and they pull up really easy um, but if you let them get big they come and they you know you can pick up all these runners and find the middle and uh, see so you can get the roots and everything pretty easy to pull up I want to contrast that, so that's some more crabgrass, see it's growing horizontally along the ground. I want to contrast that with some Dallas grass. Dallas grass is more difficult to control because once you have it, it's there. It's called a perennial, it's not an annual. Um, this is Dallas grass. See how it's more of a singular clump. The leaves are growing more up off the ground, not straight horizontal along the ground, but they've got more of a 45 degree angle to them. Let me show you real quick the difference in the seed head before I go show you some more Dallas grass clumps. So one easy way, the, the easiest way always to distinguish between grass types is to look at the seed head. And so this is a Dallas grass seed head. It's got those little black frills along the bottom of the seed pods. It's got a long stem that goes straight up into the air right after you mow. And then it's got those little black furry looking pieces on the bottom side of the seeds. It typically always has three, two, three, three seed pods. Sometimes it can have four or even five if it's really big, but three is the more common uh, uh, number of seed pods that you'll see on a stalk on a seed stalk of Dallas grass whereas crabgrass let's see if I can find a the crabgrass seed heads aren't so easy to find and especially when it's really younger you know a lot more immature crabgrass weeds but when you have your more mature crabgrass plant you can typically find the seed head but this must have been mowed only within the last few days if you give it about a week you should definitely there we go see this is on the sidewalk and so the seed head uh, was not mowed down but a crabgrass seed head has got four of these uh, if you look at it from that angle they're really similar to a Bermuda grass seed head um, a Bermuda grass seed head this one has three of those seed heads. This one, the crabgrass has four. Crabgrass is gonna be a lot bigger. I'll put them side by side so that you can see them side by side. You have your crabgrass and your Bermuda grass seed head. A lot of times people will call and think that their Bermuda grass seed heads are weeds, but it's really just, uh, it's just the seeds of the grass. Uh, but anyway, back to my, um, so, so yeah, so that's the seed head difference in crabgrass and Dallas grass. What does Dallas grass clumps look like? So they're usually in singular clumps, not always. Uh, over here, right here, you'll see there's two, maybe three clumps all growing together, but you see the, the growth is a lot more vertical. It's going straight up into the air or at 45 degree angles. It's not growing straight sideways along the ground. Um, typically, Crabgrass has a more lime green color look to it. Dallas grass is usually a darker green. Um, Dallas grass is the bigger booger. It's the bigger booger because it's bigger. 
it's the bigger booger it's the bigger it's the one that's more difficult because like i was saying it's a perennial so it lives year to year once it comes up it never goes away you have to dig it up or you have to kill it with a non-selective herbicide that then makes a dead spot in your yard and so that's why dallas grass is more difficult to get rid of crabgrass on the other hand is an annual and you can prevent crabgrass every year you might have a yard slam full of crabgrass you put your pre-emerge out before in our area in central mississippi you put it out before march 15th and you can have zero crabgrass the next year it's really nice but dallas grass once it's here and there's your seed head Once it's there, it's gonna be there and it's never gonna go away until it's dealt with. And so if you have a company such as Weed Warriors that sprays your grass and that's left over after their treatments, it's not that they're not doing their job, it's just that there is no herbicide that can get Dallas grass out of Bermuda grass, especially in a professional manner that's guaranteed. There's ways that you can suppress it, make it disappear, but then it'll just come right back. There's no one singular approach, but our approach is we just have to spray and make little dead spots this right here is cra uh, carpet grass um it's hard to tell from the video what's what all the time but uh these are just some really good examples of um some some carpet grass seed heads so i'm going to take that to the sidewalk and show you what carpet grass seed heads look like a lot of people think they're carpet grass they'll call it centipede grass or saint augustine grass because the leaf blades they're definitely wider than bermuda grass and it's definitely uh makes a thicker lawn um keeps the weeds out better in general but uh it just has more it, it's not as congruently green it's got more of a shiny look to it it's, it's got a lot of white or brown in it at different times of the year more so than the other turf grass types so nobody puts out carpet grass as sod not in central mississippi that i've ever heard of but a lot of the older landscapes have it because it's just what was naturally uh found everywhere well i say that i actually know that it was um well now i'm trying to remember i've, I've been reading about so many grasses recently i know that they brought in uh dallas grass as a forage for cattle and we brought bermuda grass over as a forage for cattle and i want to say carpet grass was brought in as well but anyway uh one more weed so nut sedge is really vertical it's a really vertical growing it's a sedge some people call it nut grass but we like to delineate and call it nut sedge because it is a sedge and it is not killed in the same way you kill grasses you we use uh you have to have a nut sedge product but if you feel the back of the leaf there's always this midrib or this this raised um uh, it's, it's a raised area on the back side of the leaf that helps you to distinguish nut sedge it's, it's a triangular stem um so it's not four-sided it's not two-sided it's not a flat leaf like grass but uh, or a stem but the stem is triangular so that's a, a really easy way to tell what it is and it's just way more vertical growth than anything else it's, one of the only weeds that just grows straight up and then it kind of folds over as it gets tall kind of like right here um it, it just goes straight up and then it folds over and so um there's crabgrass dallas grass carpet grass nut grass also known as nut sedge and i uh, hope that helps and uh go find some grass <laughs>